As we're about to start our debate unit, I want to show you how to get your project set up correctly in Noodle Tools so that it is shared with all of your teammates and with your teachers so that your team can keep track of all your uh, debate research information, your sources, your notes about that, and how those can support your arguments and so forth, all in uh, one Noodle Tools project so the whole team's research can be right in one project together and you can um, share that with your teachers so that your teachers can be giving you feedback on your research. So it's important to get this project set up correctly in Noodle Tools so that um, so that you have all have access to your researched information. So one member of your team needs to click here where it says current user sign in at noodletools.com and then um, go ahead and sign into your account. Remember your personal ID is the part that comes before the at in your student email address and then your regular Prairie um, password. And then you click sign in. Now you're going to create your project and then you're going to share it with all of your teammates and with your uh, teacher's Dropbox. Remember when you come to this list of your projects, it's important that you never delete any projects. Um, even if they're from several years ago, this will be a place where you can store all of your projects all the way up through um, your high school, which might be useful for you to look back on or to put in a digital portfolio. So never delete a project. Um, we're going to create a new project today. So we click on the Create a New Project button. Always leave it uh, with MLA because that's the citation style that we use at Prairie. And for you, you want to click Advanced because you might need to cite all kinds of different um, forms in your, um, in your project. You might interview somebody or consult an expert on the telephone or via email, so um, you want to make sure you have all those options for the types of information forms that you could cite. So click Advanced, then put the name of your project in here, and I always start with the grade level that I'm in. Mine is about debates. My team is uh, going to debate about beauty pageants. So my project is going to be called 8th Debate Beauty Pageants. You type in whatever is appropriate for your team's um, topic and then you click Create Project. Now you want to share with your teammates. So you're going to do that by clicking the link here next to Student Collaboration. You're going to add and remove students. My teammates are Mrs. Blaha. So I'm going to type in her username which would be just the part before the at in her email address. And then I'm going to click Add More, type in my next teammate. That's Ms. Roth, Ms. Stefan, Mrs. Stefan, and Ms. Bertrand. And then once I have everybody's username uh, in there, and they're going to be full collaborators, all of them. I click Save, and it'll pop up that it is now shared with these other four teammates of mine. So then I'm going to go back to the project, and you can see that I've shared it with my teammates um, completely. Now I want to share it with my teacher's Dropbox. So I'm going to click here where it says Share Project with a Teacher's Dropbox. Your teacher will tell you the name of the assignment Dropbox. I'm going to use Mrs. Stephens as an example. Oops. Stephen Debate 1. I'm going to pretend like I'm in first period in Mrs. Stephens' class. And then I'm going to put my name, which um, I will put. This is wilding, but you would just type your name in that box. And then do not share your Google Docs paper because we're not writing a paper with this project. This is a debate unit, so we're just going to keep our notes in Noodle Tools. And then we will share project. Wait for it to save. And then you should see that it's shared with all your teammates and up here with Stefan's first period Dropbox. That's all there is to getting your Noodle Tools project set up correctly.